Hello beautiful! Welcome back! Welcome to my channel if you're new here. My name is Cosmina and in today's video we are going to shop my stash. First of all we're going to talk about the products that I've used last week and uh, in the second half we're going to just go ahead and shop my stash for next week. If you're new here please consider subscribe if you like videos like this and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It helps my channel a lot and also comment what is in your shop your stash this week like maybe a foundation or maybe a um, eyeshadow palette let me know i'm really curious about that i'm gonna start us off with the base product so first of all this nyx hydro touch oil um it's not that good anymore. I had it in my collection for two years, about there. Uh, but it didn't look too great under this one. So I stopped using this one um, after like trying it two or three times and it was not working well. And then I added this one in, the Marc Jacobs one, the undercover, which I really, really like. Because this one is a blurring one and I kind of needed a little bit more of a blurring one. Um, so we're going to take this one out. We're going to put them, I'm going to put this one in empties because I'm not going to use it anymore. It's been too long in my collection but at least I've used half of it so I'm happy with that so we're gonna take this one for sure out of my collection another product that we're gonna take out of my collection is gonna be this one I never liked this one I tried it a lot of times with the glowish this week and I tried it with this one as well which was working well like the way it looked it looked really nice but the way it felt oh my god it just feels so heavy so icky i like wanted to wash my face so many times throughout the day it's just not comfortable wearing this so um i'm not going to i'm not going to i'm going to put myself out of the agony of trying to pan this and i'm going to take it out and put it in the uh empties at least i use it i know i've used it at least half so um i'm happy with that progress okay so i'm gonna take this one out well the glowish one i tried this week and by itself as well and i really did enjoy it i did put a bunch of powder on top to make it look nicer not have that much glow um but i noticed in the days that i had like a very very long shift for example if I was uh, gone for 10 hours, then this one was too glowy by the end of the day. But if you, if I wore it in a day when I only been like five or six hours out, it looked absolutely amazing. So I would say this one, definitely for short days, not long days. Or if you are out for long days, then I would have to powder, you would have to powder throughout the day. But yeah, this is, um, this is really beautiful really really beautiful um and this one as well the hollywood flawless filter beautiful um i put it under the airbrush flawless one day just just the two of them and it looked amazing amazing but again like i said it felt really icky not because of this one but because of the other foundation so i'm gonna keep this ones but i am gonna take them out of these um of, uh, out of this drawer for this week because we're going to put new things in so we'll take this out to put them back in the drawers okay um another thing in here that i used this week was born this way i love this foundation this concealer i always loved it it's nice it's beautiful nothing but to say about this one but we'll take this one out as well now the powders Ugh. The powders, <laughs> the powders, um, this is not mattifying a lot. I, I know it says it's a mattifying powder, but it's not. I mean, if you're expecting this to take care of your oil, especially if you have oily skin, this is not going to do that. This is just no. This is maybe like for a two hour window, maybe two hour window. It was not that great. I was using a little bit under my eyes, um, which was, mm, okay ish um and then the winky lux uh one it's okay but it's pretty dark as well i'm not sure what i want to do i think i'm gonna take this one and put it in my empties let me open it so you can see how um much i've used it 
Okay, so this is how much I've used the Winky Locks one. I think this is pretty good. So I am just going to put that one in empties for sure. Um, and then this one, I think I might just leave this one or just put it in the empties as well. I'm really not sure because it's not something that I'm really loving, to be honest with you. Um, and I have so many powders right now. And this has been in my collection for... A oh, two years now, about two years. You know what? I'm gonna put this one in empties as well. It's time uh, to go. <laughs> this one, it's beautiful. The soul body. My God, this is so good, you guys. I love this. Love, 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 love this. So, so, so pretty. I think I might keep it in for one more week because I want to play with it more. These ones, I only played with Stila once, but I'm going to talk about that one later. Uh, we're going to take the Marc Jacobs one as well out of the, out of this week. And then, yeah, because I want to put something new next week. This one was in there, but I did use this one a lot this week, and I love it. Just so you know, this is a good, good, good one. It does get a little bit, it leaves a little bit of white cast, but it is very lightweight and very, very moisturizing. Um, Next in here, let's talk about lipsticks. I love the Makeup by Mario one, very comfortable. I wore it a lot this week. I love it. The same thing with the balm. So minty, so pretty, not painful or anything like that. Very, very good. The Dior lipsticks, the same thing. I love this Dior lipstick. It's a beautiful red. I did wear it, and it's just mm, everything, everything. That is not a block dot or anything like that. It's just a hole. <laughs> so there you go. Um, also, the lipstick from uh, Pat McGrath, beautiful. I love this one as well. <sighs> So good, so so good. I think that's that's it, huh? Mm, should I keep this one one more week? And this one is in Omi. I think I might just keep this one for one more week because I love it so much. It's so pretty. Um, the one from Give, not my favorite. It's it's doing its job. I feel like it's just too messy. It it's just melts melts too much. Like I want something a little bit more waxy, and this one it feels like is melting too much. The color is not necessarily the best color either. I think it has too much redness in it. I don't know. I don't like it that much. I'll be honest. I just don't like it that much. This one, you know, it's gonna stay in my collect and gonna stay in my drawer. This one I use it for the diviner. It's absolutely amazing. The mascara was really good from um NARS. This is the Climax one, which I always loved and I do enjoy it. Um, I think this one is almost empty. I might just skip it for this week and use it a couple more times and then maybe at the end of next week we're just gonna throw it in there. This one it wasn't in my uh stash this week, but um this one is empty. Uh I was trying it this week and it was getting super dry. So I'm gonna put this one in empties as well from Blink, but it is a very good product and I do uh I do enjoy it while it was still good and fresh. The lip liner from Melt was really pretty. Very, very nice. I like this one. The lip liner from Makeup by Mario as well. Very, very nice. I'm not sure if I had this one in my stash. Maybe I just added in. But very nice. I'm going to take both of them out. Uh, let me see. This one was nice as well from Juvia's Place. But I only used it once. So I'm going to keep this one in. Just kind of try it a little bit more. The Marc Jacobs bronzer. Not my favorite. This is in Tantastic. I feel like the color is not necessarily the best color for me. I feel like it's a little bit too light. Also it's too gray. I prefer something more on the bronzy side. It's not my favorite thing. So I'm going to put this one back in the drawers. Um, let's see. Let's talk about the liners. I have not used this one. So I'm going to keep this one for another week. Uh, I don't think I had this one in for ne for this week. I just pulled it out because I needed it. Um, let me put it out. And, and then also this one from NYX. I used it once. 
I believe. So I'm going to just leave that one in there as well to use it for next week. And then the blush palette I love. <laughs> Remember we're talking about like maybe I want to let this one go. Mm, I don't want to let this one go to be honest with you. Um, I'm just going to keep it in because it's beautiful. I loved it. I love the fact that I had so many different ones that I could play with. But I would tell you, the one that I used the most was this one. Believe it or not, which I'm not very much into shimmery blush. But this one looks absolutely gorgeous on the skin. So I used that one a whole lot. This one from Woma, the Nothing Nothing Hill um, highlighter. It's beautiful. And I did use it a lot as well. This is gorgeous. So I'm going to take this one out and put it in my drawers. And then let's talk about the eyeshadow palettes. All right, so these are the... Uh these are the two eyeshadow palettes that I had in my collection this week. Do not like. I don't like it. I tried it this week uh, three times, I believe. Don't like it. None of those times I enjoyed the eye look that I came up with. Uh, the shimmers are not good. Uh, this thing over here, it's not good either. Um, it looks nice on the finger, but try to apply this one on your eyelid. It does not look good, especially if you have a little bit more wrinkly eyes like I do. Don't like it. I just don't like it. I don't like the color story. I don't like the way it blends. I don't like anything about it. This is going to go. Nudie Patootie from Lurley Los Angeles is just not my vibe. Not my vibe. I don't want to play with that ever again. This one, on the other hand, beautiful. <laughs> this is so good. So good. Oh, my God. I need more of this formula in my life. I think I'm going to purchase more stuff from him. Not right now because right now I do have way too much makeup. I think I just need a break. I need to get like two or three months with a no buy because let me tell you, girl, it's been it's been wild over here. It's been wild with, with a lot of purchases lately. So uh, I need a little bit of a break. But this is beautiful, gorgeous. The way it blends, it's magical. It is absolutely magical. These browns, oh, these tones, I can't even describe in words how beautiful these looks on my eyes. The blues are absolutely gorgeous every time i wore this one everybody was like what are you wearing this looks so good and you damn and i just created i think it was like a look we're using this this and this mm, delicious when i tell you delicious this is damn delicious absolutely gorgeous i love love this one from many this is the eternal clip. let's see what we're gonna do for foundation this week we're definitely gonna try to find another one that i feel like i need to finish it um i think the another one in line might be the pat mcgrath one that i need to use more or even number seven which is pretty damn good as well it's just a little bit on the light side uh but other than that i'm trying to see like what else is in here that i might have to use it sooner than later um even this one might have to be used as well the bare minerals mm. should i put this bare minerals or the pat mcgrath i used i used this one recently so i think this one can stay for another week but this one, as you can see, I haven't used much of it. So I definitely need to use this one. So I'm going to use the Bare Minerals for this week. Now for powders, I am definitely going to get the Ofra one, Banana Powder. Because this one is... I am almost done with this one. And I do want to finish it and just kind of put it in my empties by the end of next week. And then I'm going to do next one. The next powder. This is the Can't Stop, Won't Stop. I love this powder. I feel like it's a really good, um, what is it called? You know, dupe for this one over here. So I'm definitely going to use this one. Or some people say this one is a dupe for Charlotte Tilbury one. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. It might be. I don't know. Um, but I am going to go with these, uh, with these two for this week. Yeah. Okay. Blush and, uh, bronzer. This, as usual, it is insane. Um, what's going on in here? Um, uh, but 
you know what because that one is pretty dewy um i think i'm gonna embrace the dewiness this um, week and i am gonna go with tower 28 for sure and i have a bronzer from them too so i have this blush that is a orangey blush the only one that is this orangey and this one is in uh, Beach Please Golden Hour. So I'm going to use this one. And then let me find the uh, bronzer as well. Okay, so here's the bronzer as well. I'm going to get just these two. I'm going to do only creams this week. Now for a primer and a um, concealer. So I have this new primer from Sephora, which is supposed to be smoothing and blurring. So I think I'm just going to put this one in to see how this one is. It's just kind of curious. Um, so we're going to take that one out. And then for concealer, uh, because that one is pretty sheer, the bare minerals, I'm going to go with this one from Fenty Beauty. This is the uh, Bright Fix and this is in Deep Butter 07, which I really do enjoy. So I'm going to take this one out. Highlighters. We're definitely going to get the Kaleidos. I haven't tried this one. I have it in my collection for at least like three weeks. And I haven't tried it yet. So I think it's time to try it. Um, definitely. Yeah. Let's just do this one from Kaleidos. I have so many eyeshadow palettes in here that I need to try, but I have also some new eyeshadow palettes that I really need to try as well. So I'm not sure what I want to do. I think I'm going to go actually with Kaleidos. I'm going to do this one because this one is pretty new. And I'm going to put this one in and then I'll show you another one that is new that just came in this week that I order. And we're going to use that one too. All right, so for the lipsticks, I'm going to get the Give one because I have not tried this one yet. I think I have mine. Which one is it? It's the Anaheim Shine, the original recipe. So this one is going to be just a little bit on the glowy side, which I like. I prefer something like that. We do have the one from uh, uh, Pat McGrath. And then let's do a lip something for the lips. Mm, let's do this one because I really do enjoy the one from Clinique. So I'm going to use this one for this week to nourish my lips. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I need, but I don't think so. I think we're, I think we're set. I think we're set. So for primer, we're going to go with Sephora Smooth and Blur Primer. I am pretty excited to try it and see how this one is. We're going to go with Dr. Dennis Gross for sunscreen. Uh, these are the two Tower 28. I am also going to keep the Soul one in. The Juvia's Place is going to stay in. I haven't talked about these. So this one is still pretty good, the Stila one. I was very surprised. I thought it's going to be very dry because I had it in my collection for a long time now, like at least two years. Um, and it was still pretty good. And I tried it once. So I think I'm just going to keep this one in the one from elf i did not try so and this one is not that old so i'm gonna keep i'm gonna put this one out but i'm gonna keep the one from stila now for liners in here let me go ahead and do a swatch rule for you so you can see what i have okay so here's a quick swatch i do have two lip liners i am doing the one from uh, kkw which i uh really need back in my life this is a new two i love this um i love this liner the next one that we're gonna have is gonna be the one swatch right next to the second one is going to be the uh, maybelline color sensation shaping lip liner in 153 divine uh wine so that's gonna be the second one the third one i did swatch what did i swatch the third one um oh is it this one no oh it was this <laughs> it was the next this is the uh brow pen which i love and i want to add that one in as well the fourth one is the one swatch a uh, one size uh and i love that's my favorite at the moment this is my favorite uh black liquid liner the white one is gonna be this one from nyx i'm gonna keep this one for another week and then the uh other one is going to be it's this one from mark jacobs in olive and then the last one it is this brow pencil 
from uh, Too Faced. And this is an espresso. I also put in this um, a legendary brows from Charlotte Tilbury, which I think that one is dark brown. Um, let me show you how these two looks like. The eyeshadow palette, because this one is new. This is the Dominic one. The moment, yes, I got it. I love this color story. I'll show it to you in just a moment, and then we'll show you the right writer. So this is how these looks like. The NYX, the Ofra Cosmetics one, I've used quite a lot of it. The highlighter look over here, so pretty. I cannot wait to play with this one. It's in Ray Rider. The Kaleidos one, which is, I think it's Coffee Brew or something. Something like that, the name of it. But this is how this one looks like. And I'm very excited to play with it more. And this, this is the new one from Domini Cosmetics. So beautiful. Humongous pants. And so, so pretty. I did play with it yesterday. I played with these two and this color. Mm, so good. So good. People were like, oh my god, your eye look looks so good i was like yay thanks i know <laughs> but yeah this is uh pretty much what we're gonna have in this week i did add my two dior uh mascaras the pump and show and dior show and then i keep the climax one from nars but pretty much this is what are gonna be in this week i'm excited let's get it on <laughs> i cannot wait to see you all next time don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already have a nice one bye